to the Fitchburg City Council Finance Committee meeting of November 9th. I now call this meeting to order. Please be advised that FATV is conducting audio and video recording for public broadcast. I ask that anyone in the audience who is recording this meeting, uh, please identify yourself for the record uh, at this time by standing and stating your name and city of residence. Seeing none, uh, we have the opportunity for public forum. The public had been advised to contact the city clerk's office uh, with any comments, but none were registered. If anyone in the audience would like to make comments on any item on the agenda, please approach the center podium, uh, identify yourself by name and city of residence and the agenda item on which you wish to speak. And you may speak for not more than two minutes. Seeing none, uh, I'll just repeat uh, for the remote audience. Uh, I am, I, Councillor Zarella, I'm chairing in lieu of Councillor Ginatali, who is joining us remote. Uh, present this evening are myself, uh, Councillor Van Hazinga, Councillor Cruz, and Councillor Ginatali remotely. We have on our agenda this evening a total of seven items. No, sorry. Seven items. Uh, the first of which is 26022, an order that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the MEMA Emergency Management State Homeland Security Program grant in the approximate amount of $5,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase lighting equipment for the Community Emergency Response Team. Chief Suarez. Good evening, committee, committee members, and uh, thank you all for your time. Um, so, yeah, so I'm here tonight to respectfully request the expenditure of $5,000 um, to purchase lighting through this MEMA grant that we recently were awarded. Um, the way this grant works, the conditions of it are, is that we have to front the money first, buy the equipment. Once we receive it, we send the paid invoice to MEMA and they will reimburse us within 45 days. Um, the lighting that we're planning on buying is battery powered, um, telescoping lighting, raised up to 10 feet. Uh, <coughs> It's uh, very, very bright. We'll be using it for um, emergency scenes. Fire will be using it, uh, PD, state police, but we'll also be using it uh, for civic events. A good example is uh, last night at the voting stations at Memorial, we lit up the parking lot with our lighting. Um, so we Excellent. will be using it for things like that also. Um, if anybody's got any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. Questions from the committee? Motion to approve 260.22. Second. I have a motion and second to approve. If there is no objection, we'll take this by unanimous consent. Seeing none, it is approved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, next, we have 26022, an order that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Cemetery Perpetual Care Expendable Trust Fund, not to exceed the amount of $32,000 for the replacement of fencing at Laurel Hill Cemetery. Good evening, Commissioner Councilors. Harrison. Thank you for your time. Um, so this represents phase four in a fencing upgrade project at Laurel Hill Cemetery. Um, this consists of 592 feet of four foot high black commercial fencing along the Franklin Street side of the cemetery. Um, and it'll include a pipe gate at the entrance on, on Franklin Street as well. Um, and the uh, quotes that have been received, um, they've been instructed not to exceed $32,000. Um, so we're requesting the expenditure in this amount uh, from the cemetery's perpetual care expendable trust fund. So any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Questions, comments from the committee? Seeing none. Uh, oh, uh, how many more uh, phases do you plan, or is this the last one? I believe this is the last phase. Um, the first phase was Laurel Street. Second phase was South Avenue, which is in the cemetery itself. Um, third phase is North Avenue in the cemetery itself. Um, and I believe this is the last outstanding piece of it. Great, thank you. I make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. If there is no objection, it is approved. Thank you very much. Thank you, councillors. Thank you. Uh, next, we have 26222 that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of additional funds from the Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Office of Grants and Research grant, in the approximate amount of $61,570. For the purpose of said grant, which is to enhance traffic safety, 
through high visibility enforcement patrols, focusing on impaired driving and occupant protection mobilizations. Good evening, Councillors. I'm Captain LeMay with the Police Department. Chief Martin couldn't attend tonight, so I'm here in, in, his, uh, in his absence. Uh, we're here looking for this to utilize this grant um, as indicated by the amount here. Um, this helps enforce uh, our traffic safety um, coordinations with uh, speeding enforcement, impaired driving enforcement, as well as to purchase radar uh, equipment and uh, bike helmets uh, for both adult and, uh, and juveniles. Thank you. Any questions, comments from the committee? Councillor Van Azinger. Uh, I'm excited to see this. Uh, one of the, the constant complaints we get in many of the, our busier streets is the, the traffic flow, so it's great that we have some resources we can dedicate towards uh, that enforcement. Thank you. Thank you. Make a motion to approve. Um, just, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, motion. So uh, beyond radar, is there any other tactical equipment that you'll be picking up, some of the science that we've been moving around the city or anything of that nature? As far as it, this will be, we'll be able to purchase uh, radar equipment, Mm -hmm. that will help with uh, enforcement, um, signage, things of that nature, okay. um, as, as well as patrol enforcement. We can increase our patrol enforcement in the community, which is, you know, as the council stated, it, it's, it's needed. It's a big one, yeah. Speeding yes. is getting, uh, getting worse and worse, unfortunately, in the city. So I'm, I'm happy to see this. As always, the police department does a great job with grants. Yeah. Make motion to approve. Second. All right, I have a motion and second. If there is no objection, it is approved unanimously. Uh, next up, we have 263.22. The City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Department of Justice Office of Justice Programs in the approximate amount of $22,966 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase tactical equipment and for community policing related overtime. Captain LeMay? Yes, as indicated in uh, here, the, uh, the grant is for tactical, the purchase of the tactical equipment and for community policing overtime, such as our Main Street patrols. Um, and uh, uh, assist our community engagement unit with uh, additional resources uh, for the work that they do in the community. Questions, comments? Councillor Van Hasinger? So I'm a big fan of the Main Street patrols. I think that's often a, a, a concern of visitors and businesses down the Main Street is uh, just to have some police presence there to, to, to make people face it, feel safe and welcome. I was wondering, um, tactical equipment's a broad definition. I was wondering if you could Give us some more detail about what kind of without divulging you know the resources that that the community has um it's ballistic equipment uh that our that our officers need uh, okay. to, to continue to do their job I'll, I'll i'll leave it as as simple as just ballistic equipment okay thank you yeah. any motion to accept second motion and second if there is no objection it is approved uh 264 22 that the city of fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Digital Federal Credit Union gift in the approximate amount of $5,000 for the purpose of said gift, which is to support the police department efforts in providing quality programs to our city's youth. Uh, yes, this, this particular uh, item on the agenda, uh, it's a $5,000 award uh, grant uh, gift to us. Uh, DCU has been a great partner uh, for the police department. A, a por the portion of this funds goes directly to our junior police academy. Our junior police academy, we're on our this next year will be our 13th year that we've been running this uh, this particular academy throughout the summer for our city. And uh, these funds are drastically needed so we can continue with those efforts to uh, help our youth out and provide them with our junior police academy annually. Excellent. Questions, comments? Councilor Reed, how's it going? Curious, uh, last summer, how many participants did you have in the academy? Uh, we do about 50 kids from the from the community. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice event that we're able to put on for a week long to give them an idea of, of what we do, um, you know, uh, as police officers here in the city. Well, it's great that you have that level of interest and participation. I think it's wonderful to have and that we interaction. Usually, we usually have to, um, at times we've had to turn people away because it gets so big and we, we just have to, you know, uh, we try to keep a certain age group. We have uh, people from other communities that have asked to participate in our Junior Police Academy and we gear it towards the, the, the city's uh, youth the residents in Fitchburg, so, which is nice. Great. Make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. If there is no objection, it is unanimously approved. Uh, 265.22, that there be in hereby is transferred from within the sum of $22,300, uh, same to be transferred from reserve for other municipal purposes, capital expenses, and credited to police, maintenance of building, repair and care, 
for the purpose of repairing the generator and of renting scaffolding for another year. Captain LeBay. So this item on the agenda, as indicated, uh, we had to have some work done to our generator. Our generator is the original generator to the building. Um, replacing that is extremely costly. We had to repair it. And with the repair, uh, we had to send that out and have a rental uh, during the repair process. And that took some time. So a portion of that is for the generator and rental costs for a backup generator at our building while that was being done. And the additional uh, resource, uh, revenue there is for the scaffolding. If you've driven by our building, you can see that we have scaffolding protecting our walkways coming into our building. Uh, we have some erosion issues on the gable ends that some of the concrete debris has been falling off and that's to protect um, the, the community as they enter into our building so that they, they don't have to deal with any debris falling until we can get that fixed at a later date and time. Councilor Cruz? Do we have any idea how these repairs will affect the lifespan of the generator? Uh, the generator itself, um, we had to replace the pump. Um, as indicated by the, the company, um, they said that that generator should have a, a pretty long life after this repair, um, but they to replace what's there is extremely costly. So right now we're just trying to repair what's what's necessary as as it goes. Um, and I, I don't have an answer for you as how long it would last um, if we continue to repair it. Um, Thank you. Motion to accept. Second. I have a motion and second to accept. Uh, if there is no objection, it is unanimously approved. And thank you very much, Captain. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. And lastly, we have 26622, an order that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Community Foundation of North Central Massachusetts grant in the approximate amount of $8,196.83 for the purpose of said grant, which is to design and build a stage at Riverfront Park. Ms. Murphy. As indicated, there uh, is eight thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars and eighty-three cents at the Community Foundation, and we'd like to um, have this accepted to be used towards the design and uh, construction of a stage at Riverfront Park. Any questions? It's why such a uh, exact figure on this one. So this represents uh, an amount of money that was raised uh, a number of years ago through the Brewers Festival and the proceeds that came about from that, and it's been sitting at the foundation. Mm -hmm. So that just happened to be what that number was. Okay, good enough for me. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve. Uh, seeing no objection, it is unanimously approved. Thank, Thank you. you. Motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and second to adjourn. There being no objection, we are adjourned.